So, folks, we have to discuss something massive, which is that Jim Jordan has just been taken down using the 14th Amendment. That's been totally focused on Trump, and rightfully so. The man is clearly the focus, the kingpin of that awful interaction, that awful event that happened in late 2020, early 2021. But Jim Jordan has now been rung up on it, and I have it up here on the screen, but we're going to get into the nitty-gritty details of this confirmed report from a confirmed source on social media, making it clear, including legal experts, the highest voices in the land that Jim Jordan is done via the 14th Amendment. And it has everything to do with his collaboration with Donald Trump around J6, but also his threats to law enforcement and indeed the role he's been playing in trying to obstruct the investigations into Donald Trump. And what's extra delicious about all of this is despite the fact that he's just been disqualified in the same process that Donald Trump is being, at least according to to these sources and what have you, the Republican MAGA freaks are mad at Jim Jordan because he's still not loyal enough to Trump. It's absolutely insane. But let's start. We'll get to the nitty gritty of the disqualification, but you gotta, we gotta cover the reasons. First, here's a law enforcement expert talking about how Jim Jordan created this treasonous, dangerous mess. I'm here is, holy cow, people are threatening the FBI and rampantly we are so out of whack in this country. Um, Pete, you get the last word. And and I want to ask you if we are too timid in the way we talk about this. I mean, these are threats to terrorize people who are public servants doing their jobs for political purpose. Um, Are we, we see something, are we saying something and are we saying the right thing? Uh, well, in my opinion, we're not doing enough. I mean, look, when push comes to shove, the absolutely the FBI and DOJ need to band together and protect their personnel to allow them to do their job. They're going to do it, but they need to be able to do that without fear for their lives. When the FBI was fighting Al Capone, there was not a unit dedicated to protecting FBI personnel. When the FBI was fighting organized crime families in New York and all around the U.S., there was not a unit dedicated to protecting FBI personnel. I'm struck by the fact you, you threw up that quote from uh, testimony from an FBI agent to the House Judiciary Committee. Who's the chairman of the House Judiciary Committee? Jim Jordan. And yet Jim Jordan hearing that these threats to this AUSA are resulting or are coming about from being publicized, he nevertheless goes on television and, you know, appears in the same, you know, little snips that you showed repeating the name of this AUSA. So congressmen, senators, they don't care about this threat, but we need to be doing more. In my opinion, I'm glad to see the FBI and Director Ray and others starting to talk about this, but we need to talk about it even more because it's not getting better. If anything, it's getting worse, and it's getting worse behind the testimony and the statements of senators and congressmen, not fringe, you know, sort of outcasts and outliers, but mainstream, reputable national politicians. And it's got to stop. I mean, this is a man that swore an oath to protect the Constitution and really to protect the American people from threats foreign and domestic. But according to at least some sources with FBI connections, Jim Jordan is one of the reasons why so many on the ground law enforcement officials today are in constant peril because he is fed and reinforced and at the very least tolerated all of this MAGA nut bar dumb that's been coming from every direction. And the Republican Party has been tapping into that to fundraise and to energize the base, no matter what the political, human, emotional, democratic cost. And so this is part of it. Jim Jordan is in big, 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 big trouble because he, like Donald Trump and like other MAGA Republicans, have used their positions of power, which were sworn under oath, the oath that if you violate, you get banned under the 14th Amendment to not uphold the Constitution, but to undermine it and the society that the Constitution is based on. But we have to watch this. We're going to get into some more detail on cuts and on de-woke and de-weaponized. But the train and half dollars would have already triggered all types of recriminations and shutdowns of what the, the, the woke and weaponized. That was the whole purpose, and we told you it was going to be $2 trillion. And you lied to people. And so now you're caught, and you've come up with no plan, and you're trying to put shiny toys. I'm going I'm to add the terrific border. We've got enough laws. Yes, the the border thing, it's great, it's going to be more, but we have enough laws. 
It's the execution and implementation of those laws, and they're laughing in your face. Ben Burkwam down is down in Darien Gap, and they're swarmed. If somebody could put up, I think I said the New York Times today has this huge story with all these photographs. And it's talking about the Darien Gap. Oh, my gosh. Finally, we forced the New York Times to cover it. That's an invasion of the United States. You're doing nothing. You're doing nothing about the woke and weaponized. You're doing nothing about the ceding of our sovereignty to all these international organizations. Nothing is getting done. Nothing. It's all performative. Including Comer and Jordan. Yes, going to. Why hasn't Hunter Biden been subpoenaed and been in at least for a deposition? Why are the people running been in for depositions? This is bribery. It's in, it's so in your face. Why have the laptop from hell not every day come out there? Why have the why have the bank records over Treasury not come forward? If the Democrats had bank records on Trump, they'd be the front page of the New York Times every day for a week. You're a weak and sad man. I want to quote Matt Gates. And by the way, these are two master classes. Tell me which Republican goes into CNN in prime time with Abby Phillips and then goes to MSNBC and the biggest hammer they got is Ari Melver. Right there. He's a lawyer, not a TV guy. Tell me any Republican out there that could go into the lion's den twice and blow him up. You had Abby Phillips looking like a high school kid. And Ari Melber's got the producer blowing him up in his ear. He's going, ba-dee, 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 ba-dee. Matt Gates, who, by the way, has had DOJ and the FBI all over him for years, and they dropped it. And Kevin McCarthy lies. They came. That's a bald-faced lie. And this is typically what Kevin McCarthy would do. You see how weak he is? You see that? Well, it's not really impeachment. It's just we're just going to ask a few questions. It's just stand up and be a man. Own the room. Step in there. Your big talk in front of your conference, dropping the F-bombs. Come in front of the microphones with the opposition media and be a man. You know why people are sick of this? You know they're sick of Fox News and they're sick of the Republican Party and they're sick of the Uniparty and they're sick of half a conservative media? Because your pencil necks that will roll over immediately. Now's the... You know, it's really interesting, isn't it? Like, you know, uh, Kevin comes out and he, and he launches this whole process and, uh, you know, he, he does it because he thinks it's going to be uh, something that, that quells the MAGA base, uh, drains their thirst for his blood and things like that. And he even appoints as one of the leaders of this, somebody with real MAGA credibility, Jim Jordan. But it doesn't work. And you have Bannon and other people like that. And Gates, we've seen it, instantly come out and say, well, like, this is a sham process and nothing's going to happen and it's not enough and they're doing it to distract us from other things and it's like Jim can't win and look I don't feel bad for Jim Jordan but this is the curse whenever you deal with the Trump cult you either are a you know you you can do the 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 MAGA thing 99.99% of the time do and say all the right things shake all the right hands be with Trump whenever he needs you to be with him do all of his dirty work but the second that not only do you not do do you do something that's against the MAGA base but you are perceived even inaccurately to not be 100% loyal then you're thrown into the bin. You're no better than a Democrat. You're instantly a Cheney, a Kinzinger, or whatever. And it's like, that's what's happening to Jim. And these, these dum-dums need to realize it will happen to all of them eventually. No one is pure enough for the cult. And this is another reason why he's in trouble. And he admits it. And this is being used against him. This clip is the reason the 14th has been dropped. Because he's openly admitting to use his office to obstruct an ongoing criminal investigation. So, Con Congressman Jordan, uh, in kind of closing here, this is going to be a very, very eventful uh, couple of weeks uh, coming up. And yeah. I, I, I get the impression that Joe Biden and the White House, they're positioning almost for a government shutdown. In fact, there have been some leaks and some memos trying to already blame the Republicans if a government is shut down. At least from where our perspective is, I think there needs to be some bright lines. And Jack Smith, I think we got to go yeah. all in on the defunding of Jack Smith. Um, because he has been so completely yep. out of control, unconstitutional, and sets a terrible precedent. So uh, I'm sure this is still being worked out, but the, the border is great. We, we love that. A any thoughts on just kind of some bright red lines as we enter into this? Because Chuck yeah, Schumer I think, I think, and I think those are the Joe Biden. Yeah, please. No, I think those are the two. 
because, I mean, think of the contrast. You've got David Weiss named as the special counsel to look into the Biden business operation. David Weiss, the guy who presided over the investigation for four and a half years, the guy who allowed the defense counsel to be tipped off when a search warrant was coming, the guy who put together this, the, the plea deal that the court declined to accept because it was so ridiculous. That's the guy who gets named special counsel? What? So contrast that with Jack Smith, who's indicted former President Trump in not one but two locations. I mean, un, uh, truly unbelievable. So I think that issue is front and center. And, of course, the immigration border security uh, issue is front and center, as is evident by what, again, what, what, what Mayor uh, Adams has set up in uh, New York, uh, the situation there. So those are the kind of issues that you put on a bill that funds the government and you tell Chuck Schumer, really? You, 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 you think it's appropriate for the Biden administration to you, you're going to shut down the government because you think the, it, it, the Biden administration needs to be able to fund the uh, the prosecution of their opponent for the presidential elect in the presidential election. And you think it's appropriate for Chuck Schumer to shut down the government uh, uh, because he won't accept um, limiting more additional migrants coming into the country. Really? Go tell that to the people in New York, uh, 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 Senator Schumer. Uh, those are the kind of things I think that you have to look at to put on that bill that funds the government. And that's exactly what we're attempting to do. We've seen so many people say this, that what Jim is doing and others are doing is using their office to obstruct ongoing proceeding, proceedings, whether it's in Georgia, whether it's in New York, or whether now it's with Jack federally. And this is a, a, an open move. And it's not a good faith use of congressional power. It is open obstruction. Again, using your constitutionally gifted powers not to uphold the Constitution, but to undermine it. Banishment. And this is what the reports say, that, that headline I have for you. This is what the reports say, at least according to these sources. It says, legal experts are telling us Jim Jordan violated Section 3 of the 14th Amendment. Legal experts, Jim Jordan's refusal to acknowledge and address the events of January 6th when the Capitol was stormed violates Section 3 of the 14th Amendment. Jim Jordan is disqualified for embracing the agenda of a president who incited mobs to attack the Capitol in a violent attempt to overturn the results of the 2020 election. And as we've spoken about with this provision, it is self-executing. You are not up for disqualification. Once you are hit with the 14th Amendment, you are disqualified. Trump is disqualified. And now, according to this source, at least, Jim Jordan is disqualified as well. He's done, right? Like if you listen to the legal opinions. And of course, in addition to this, you know, Jim Jordan still hasn't accounted for the fact that he spoke with Trump on J6. And he's at least reportedly one of the people who wanted a pardon for what was done on Trump's behalf on J6 and in the run up to it. Jim's been disqualified. He can join, join Donnie in that camp. 